Hey guys, it's Laura and it's time for Cardio Sculpt. Today you're going to need a mat and a couple of sets of dumbbells, a lighter set and a heavier set. We're going to be moving from cardio, lower body, upper body, blocks of three movements and repeating each one twice for one minute each. Are you ready? Let's go. So big arm circles, take it out. So I decided to throw some rock music and some pop music in my playlist today. We'll see how that goes. Okay, four more. All right, twist side to side. Let your heels come up. Let those hips move. Four more. Two more. Okay, take one to the corner, another corner. Four more. Two more. And then we're going to circle that again. Big circle out. We're going to your own speed. Last four. Two more. All right, take both arms back and forth. And add a little hinge there. Just sit back in the heels. And then side bend, bend those knees, that's in, four more, and then just give me a squat, come down, round, release your back. Yesterday was a long sitting day for me, so this is much needed. Now, as you come up a little bit, lift one arm up, other arm up. Feel that last stretch. Feel that oblique stretch. Get a couple more. Last one. Come up. Give me a hip hinge. One leg forward. Hips go back. Remember, shift those hips back. So, we're going to do every move for one minute. Short rest in between, switch sides, shift the hips back, press the chest forward, nice hamstring stretch. Okay, one more. Now circle one knee out the other. Big circle. Nice, nice. Hopefully you're starting to get warmed up. Good, two more. And then reach for the toe, little leg swing, leg swing. Now you lift as high as you want to, just a hamstring warm up. One more, okay, leg back. So tip forward, tip forward. Got that hip hinge going on. Good, a couple more. Last one. Okay, so we're gonna start with our first round of cardio. Remember, this is one minute, so if you're still warming up, feel free to make this smaller. So first one is a one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, okay? I'll show you modifications as we go. Three, two, go. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And then you can step touch if you want to. We got one minute of this. One, two, three, four. Get that knee up. One, two, three, four. So you don't have to add impact if you don't want to. 30 seconds. Letting that heart rate come up a little bit. Two, three, four. 10 seconds. And three, 
two, one. Okay, we're, I'm gonna start a little bit lighter. I'm gonna start with my 15, just to give you an idea. So you're gonna come down, row two times, and then come up. Row two times. You ready? Okay, go. Hips go back. Bend those knees. Squeeze up to the glutes. So start lighter if you're still warming up. So bring down the row. You don't just want to pull the hand up. You want to retract the shoulders. So feet about hip width apart. It's going to help you have a more stable base. Abs tight. So you want a little bit of a natural arch there. You don't want to be tucked under, of course, to keep your back safe. Elbows back. Squeeze back. Nice, nice. Squeeze those shoulders back every time. Get that upper back. Let's go back. Perfect. Ten seconds. Okay, three, two, one. So I'm going to put one weight down. Now this does involve a jump. Feel free not to jump. Okay, so I've got my feet a little wider. I've got one hand on the weight. I'm going to set it down. I'm going to jump. I'm going to lift. Set it down, jump, and I'm gonna lift. So option, switch, come up, down, switch, come up. Time starts now. Okay, so make sure those shoulders stay back and turn it on my air. I'm warmed up. Remember that, it's all about the squat, so that's why we want a wider stance. It's gonna allow us to go a little bit deeper. If you're narrower, you're going to end up using a little more low back, which is fine if you have that flexibility, mobility in your hips. So chest stays up. You could almost jump with it. You could. Down, up, lift, up, and then jump. Remember, the jump's optional. You could even just stand up quickly, head stays up. You don't want to look down and look up, especially if you have a tendency to get dizzy easily. I do. I used to be the roller coaster queen when I was young. Can't do it anymore, sadly. 10 seconds. Pull up, drive through the legs. A little hop. Doesn't have to be big. Three, two, and one. Okay, we're back where we started. So we're back to that. One, two, three, one, two, three. And the wide jog or step touch. Okay? Three, two, go. One, two, three. It can be this. Use those arms. Jump, 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 jump. Make it your own. So if you're on a hard floor, sometimes it helps just to have that little bit of cushion for your mat. That's what I'll use sometimes. Fifteen seconds. One, two, three, eight. Touch. Yeah, you got it. Three, two, one. Okay, we got that row. Go heavier if you like, depends on how you feel. Okay, three, two, one. Tip the hips. Back, pull back, squeeze up with the glutes. Okay. 
keep weight in those heels. Squeeze up, drive through the heels. Don't forget the retraction. I know I say it every time, but it's so important. Squeeze back, squeeze back. Your shoulders are more dynamic. You want to get that upper back, right? We spend so much time, I mean, most of our life with our hands in front of us, on the computer. We want to balance it out by strengthening our upper back. Okay, you only have 10 seconds. Keep those abs tight. Knees up. Three, two, one. Okay, we've got that hand off. Wide squat. Arm you can set it down. A little jump if you want to. And then pick it up with the other hand or not, adding the jump. Three, two, go. Set it down. Jump. Bring it up. Set it down. Jump. Now if you want to jump with the weight in your hand, that's fine. But make sure you feel like you have control of that. So put those hips back. Okay, hips back. If you don't want to go that deep, you don't have to. Push the floor away. Jump. Hips back. Wherever you can be here, down. I like to twist, it makes it easier to grab. You be there. This is all about your legs. It's not about the hand. Jump. You can even go up on the toes. Okay? Jump. You've got built-in back support with that hand. If you need that, take it. Less than 10 seconds. Yeah, I love it. Three, two, rest. Okay, you got 30 seconds. And we're gonna move on to the next block. So I'll go ahead and show that to you while you rest. Okay, we're gonna be on the mat. We're gonna be up, down, up, down. Or down, up, down, up, I should say. So you're gonna come down. Push up, knee in, knee in. Okay, that's all it is. All right, get ready. And three, two, one. Push up, knee in, knee in. Now, push ups don't agree with you, you know, like your shoulder or something. Feel free to do a chest press. Okay, you can do a chest press with your weights. You can come up and do a crunch because we're just trying to involve the core. You can even tap down. Just make sure this stays tight without lifting and lowering the back. So that's an alternative. If you can't do push-ups, like coming back from an injury or you got a shoulder issue, just grab around your push-ups. You don't want your hands out here. Down here, shoulders depressed. That doesn't mean sad. <laughs> So you keep those hips down, make sure you don't stick your butt up in the air. If you find yourself doing that, go slower, take your time, rest if you need to. You got time for one more? Yep. Yeah. Three, two, one. Bring yourself up. We will go back to that. Okay, so light weight. We're going to build on the last exercise. But we worked a little bit of shoulder. Hands here. Okay? You're going to take it across, take it across. Front squat. Take it across, take it across. Front squat, okay. Go! Sit back. We 
you have the weights in this position, you may feel your quads a little bit more. That's not a bad thing. Make sure your knees are not going forward. You're sitting back. Squat more weight, then you can press over your head. If it feels too easy, pause that squat. Pause. Come on. Stay in that harder position a little bit longer. So we're adding that angled reach to get a little more core. We'll add in that twist. Chest up, shoulders back. You look great. Go, go. Now remember, modify any of these moves that you need to. You can always go lighter. Just work on form. Almost there. Okay, one more. Three, two, set that down. One more move, we start over. So we got a knee, front kick, knee, repeater. Knee, front kick, knee. Ready? Okay, go. Knee, front kick, knee. Knee, front kick, knee. So reach. Anytime you add arm movement, more calories. And apparently it throws off the instructor. <laughs> Which is not hard to do. That's up to you how high you want that kick to be. Yes. Love it. Keep that core tight. Jump that knee. Fifteen seconds. We got our little sixties. Before my time, I had to make sure I said that. Three, two, one. We're back to that push-up. Knee in, knee in. Are you guys okay? You good? Okay, take one the rest if you need to. We're back down. Down. Three, two, one. Push up. Knee in. Knee in. Come on, you got this. Remember, you got that chest press option. Dropping the heels if you like. Get that core, get the chest. Same muscle groups. So you want to keep those hips down when you bring that knee in. Remember, don't arch your back. You're almost there, you got 15 seconds. And we're gonna stand by me. Remember, nice lift through the chest. 
Aiming those hips back. If you need a wider stance on your squat, take it. Halfway there. So you could do one move or the other. Just the squat, just the overhead. Especially if your shoulders start to, you start to lose your form, just do the squats. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. This song reminds me of like a Backstreet Boys kind of song. Okay, knee, front kick, knee. Are you ready? You gotta rest after this. Three, two, one. So knee, front kick, knee, knee, front kick, knee. Reach. You're taking it easy today. Keep it lower. Remember, this will benefit to steady state overhead. Just different benefits. They're both beneficial. I like front kicks to get you a nice hamstring stretch. I'll take that wherever I can get it. Okay, 15 seconds. Three, two, rest. Perfect. Okay, again, you got 30 seconds. Moving on to the next block. I'm gonna show you this move without weights. It does take balance. Oh no. So you're gonna step, you're gonna step back into a lunge, you're gonna reach. Okay, and then switch, and then reach. So I'm always turning toward the front leg, okay? So if you want to use light dumbbells, you can. If you feel like you're too wobbly for dumbbells, don't have them. Okay, you ready? Toward the front leg, ready? Okay, lunge, reach, bring it in, switch, lunge, reach. Turning your chest. Don't let that front knee go past your heel. You want a nice vertical shin? If it goes a little bit forward, that's okay. But never lift your heel. I'll go this way. And just turning your head sometimes can be a balance challenge. Keep your core tight, it's working big time, especially on that twist. Now you can always turn and not turn your head. If that helps with your balance, lunges are a great exercise for building stability. That's why they're so challenging. Okay, three, two, one. Okay. A little bit. Those were fives. I've got an eight because we got a rear fly. So we're going to tip forward, low fly, higher fly, come up, switch. Low fly, higher fly. Okay? So you got to get that hip pinch. Three, two hips go back, knuckles back, and then up. Squeeze up, back, out. So I've always got a bend in that elbow. You can take back support with that non-weighted hand. Back. So working the upper back, back of the shoulder, back lower fly. You're also getting tricep. 
working these hips, and of course your core. Core muscles, abs, low back. Hips are part of the core. Control that weight both ways, don't let it fall. If you want more of a core challenge, don't use that hand on your thigh. But make sure you can brace. Hips go back. Back, front. Doesn't have to go way up there, okay? Three, two, one. Set it down. Okay, this is gonna look dancey. <laughs> well, it does for me. Unless you're a dancer, you feel like that's your idea of dancing. You know, I'm, I'm not much of a dancer. Okay, so we're gonna go forward, out, reach, forward, out, reach. Okay, it's not that dancey. Okay, go, forward, out. You can reach, forward, out, reach, jump or no jump. you do. A little wider. Really reach. Up. Up. I know this is random. I don't know if you're a breakfast eater. I haven't eaten technically breakfast even though I know it's really it's the first meal you eat of the day. But I haven't eaten breakfast, you know, in the morning in years three two one i started doing it i mentioned this before. i feel so much better i don't know why i was uh, resisting that okay so little sip we got that lunge with a twist say heck is a person Okay, so break out of that. Remember, front leg, reach, step in, switch legs. Oh, I didn't switch legs. You get the idea. Three, <laughs> two, one. I promise this is not my first day. Bring it in, switch. Now we got a whole bit of this. So take your time. Don't add the twist if you don't want to. If you feel really wobbly, I would do it without the weights first. Switch. It's a lot in front of the shoulder. Working that core, of course, working the legs. The deeper you get in that lunge, the more you're going to get that glute, which is always a good thing, right? We want strong hips and glutes. Not just because they look good in jeans. I mean, that's nice. Nice bonus. Right? Three, two, one. Okay, we've got that low fly, the high fly with a hip pinch. Okay, you ready? Five seconds. Remember to get that hinge in there. Three, two, go. Back. Squeeze up with your glutes. With support or without. Depends on your core strength. What I like to do is bring my hand into my chest because if my hand goes out to the side, it's offsetting. It's trying to compensate and balance the weight. But I want to challenge my core a little bit more. So I bring my hand in here so I can't do that. Just an option. Nice flat back. Now watch your knee. Make sure you don't hit yourself in the knee. I've done that when I'm not paying attention. 
So when that weight goes out to the side, you really got to brace. When it goes away from your midline, your core is going to have to work harder. Responsible for this movement. Right 
you're bringing the shoulders up. So we want to do the opposite movement to stretch the knee. Big inhale. You guys are amazing. Love working out with you. Big inhale. You are done. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye.